Our continuing coverage of that breaking news out of Cedar Park this morning. Police are asking people who live on Natalie Cove, stay inside your home. That's the newest update that we're getting. Now, this is in the Heritage Park subdivision near Leander High School. Cedar Park police say it is still not safe for you to go outside. Yeah, they say right now a man remains in the home with three people inside. Those people are believed to be family members. Nabil Ramana is near the area where that man is still barricaded. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning, Tom. And yeah, this standoff approaching 14 hours. Now you can see still a very active scene here behind us off Baghdad Road. There are multiple departments out here that responded to this scene. Now, as far as what we know so far, they are keeping us about a quarter mile away from the home. We're at 310 yesterday afternoon. Police say a man kicked in the door of his mother's home and then shot three officers responding to her 911 call. Now, all three officers are expected to live, though at least one remains in the hospital at this time. Officers shot back at the gunman once they entered that home, but it's still not clear if they hit anyone inside. Now, they say the then took his mom and two other family members hostage. One of those is either a child or a teenager. Police say the gunman is in his 20s and has a history of mental illness. Now, Interim Cedar Park Police Chief Mike Harmon made this plea to the shooter last night during a live news conference. The officers that were shot are fine. They've received medical attention. They don't have life-threatening wounds. And that's important to know that and to understand that. So please, if you're listening to this, please come out and surrender yourself peacefully so we can resolve this situation tonight. Now, hostage negotiators are here on the scene. They are trying to make contact with the suspect inside and are hoping for a peaceful resolution. But once again, we're still trying to find out more information. Once we do, we'll be sure to pass that along again. Uh, heed that warning by Cedar Park police out here to stay indoors at this time. Still a very active scene. And as you can see, a lot is going on here off of Baghdad Road. So again, we'll keep you posted with the very latest. Once we have more, we'll be sure to let you know. Guys, back to you. All right.